what do you think dreams are? They are so many things. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about a couple of things that we know that they are. Yeah. From a brain structure place, we know that we are reviewing everything that happened during the day during REM sleep dreaming. That's why we so often dream about things that we experienced during the waking life day that preceded the night of sleep, because the brain is in fact needing to review all of the data it collected during the day and saying, okay, this is important. Let's make that a memory. This is unimportant. Let's just shove that into the abyss of the unconscious. So that's a function that's happening in dreams that we now know about scientifically. The scientists would tell you, therefore, dreams have no mystical meaning, but that's bullshit. It's Total bullshit. The hubris <laughs> of science, right? So we know we're forming memory in REM sleep while dreams are happening. So in some ways, dreams are a function of the many chaotic visual re-experiences of the day's material. Okay. Another thing that's happening in the brain during REM sleep is that, uh, well, cells poop. All cells poop. They, they, they make metabolic waste. They take in fuel, they burn it, and then they shit some stuff out. In the body, below the blood-brain barrier, we have a lymphatic system that just collects all this stuff and gets rid of it. But the lymphatic system can't work above the blood-brain barrier. So the brain does something really cool. All of the brain cells shrink a little bit, and, and all of what, what happens during... So the brain cells shrink. And then cerebral spinal fluid fills the space in between. And when they regain their shape, they push the metabolic waste into the cerebral spinal fluid in between brain cells, which then funnel down into the spinal column and go into the body and are taken away by the lymphatic system. Fascinating. So, I didn't know that. Right? Crazy. Yeah. So yeah. that's happening in dreams in REM. So the REM cycle itself is like flushing the toilet in your brain. Wow. So those are functional. They're not mystical. They're not psychological. So the idea that we get from Freud and then Jung and the world of psychology is that dreams are taking us into the unconscious. And in the unconscious is where all of the demons are. That's where we're fearful. That's where we're enraged. That's where we're terrified of death. That's where all of our darker human qualities exist and live and are vibrant. Our conscious awareness is like, I'm good, all is well, I'm living life, right? So what we do when we go into dreams is we visit the places in our psyche where we're terrified, where we're saying no to life, where we're enraged with things, where we're in deep grief. And then we wake up the next morning more capable of meeting life on life's terms on a Tuesday because we process the stress of Monday in our dream state. So on a certain level, just like we're clearing out metabolic waste, I think we're also clearing out psychic waste by letting our darker feelings be visited by our awareness. Sometimes I think our darker feelings are like eight-year-old children at the pool, right? Diving in going, look, ma, watch <laughs> me. Like, they just want to be noticed or seen or, be, or dealt with. So we go into our dream state and we breathe some love and light into our unconscious shadow material so that we can wake up and have it not grab us and run us and push us into, you know, behaviors that, that are being driven by unconscious material. 